Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and today we are going to be doing a paint with me video. So I started off with a sketch and my reference was this girl off of Pinterest. If you guys would like to use her as a reference, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description box below. So I actually forgot to mention which set I am using. And I am using the Himi, H-I-M-I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, um, gouache set. You can get it off of Amazon for about $30, I believe, and they do come in two different colors. The pink palette, I think there's a blue one as well, and the green one, like the one that I have. Um, but yeah, I definitely think it's worth the purchase. Um... I have watched so many reviews about the set on YouTube before buying it, and I was convinced. I am actually not really a, like a painter, I guess. I usually never paint. I never painted until I got the set, pretty much. Um, and I have had a few struggles with it, as most people do when they're getting started in a medium. <laughs> The biggest one being the water to paint ratio specifically and that for some reason I struggled with the most um, mostly being because I am so used to watercolor that I kept on adding way too much water and then my paper would curl and then my like paint would just look really really washed out and weird I don't really know how to explain it but it just wouldn't turn out great so over time I have learned to uh, just pack it on pretty much and yeah just work with what you got pretty much <laughs> so I'm pretty happy about my purchase honestly for 30 bucks it's a pretty nice set there's oh my god I don't even know how many colors there are 18 colors there are 18 colors by the way and uh but yeah since i'm someone that doesn't really have that much money to spend on a lot of art supplies this is pretty much my only set and i'm glad it is i also forgot to mention my other struggles that i have with painting in general which is um picking a color palette um i always struggle with this because I am so used to just working with charcoal and graphite, so like the values are very, very different than with color, obviously. Um, so I, I definitely struggle with that. Um, in this painting though, thankfully I chose a palette and I stuck to it. So I chose four different colors and then I chose um, black and white uh, to have a variety. And I'm glad that I did. Um, if you guys are beginners like me, I recommend sticking to a very limited color palette and then slowly just like introducing new colors. So in this frame, you could actually see the gouache set that I am using and the colors again that I was using for this are the red, the yellow, the blue, the pink in the far left corner, and the black and white.
this point, I was really happy with the colors that I chose. Um, and I was happy about how the skin tone turned out. And then I added the pupils. <laughs> That was probably my biggest mistake. As you can see, like literally right here, which I didn't even notice. Um, they're like a bit off. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. They just look like dead. They literally just look like dead inside. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. So <laughs> as you could tell, again, I'm a beginner, so we still have a lot to learn. And this is just pretty much our journey to build on our like skills um and hopefully some of you guys could you know grow with me and experience a few things together rather than you know yeah so maybe you guys can learn from my mistakes and obviously hopefully i will <laughs> learn from my own mistakes I think this is my first time mentioning this, but um, I am very sorry for my head being in the way in a lot of the shots. It looks like I didn't comb my hair, and honestly, it's because I didn't. I have curly hair, and if you guys have curly hair, you understand what I'm talking about. I can't really comb it, or else it's going to get even worse, but I am very sorry that my curly head is in the way in a lot of these shots. Um, in some of them, I tried to crop it out. And others I really couldn't because, like this one, it's the neck and my head is, like, you guys want to see the neck because I'm working on the neck. You know, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so, um, now I'm working on the hair. The neck was honestly such a struggle for me. I kept on overworking it like crazy and kept on adding more and more color on it when I obviously should have let it dry before I started adding more color onto it. But I didn't you know understand that until after it dried and I was like oh it looks okay you know like there's just some things that you just gotta let it dry and sit for a while before you can go in and work on it again and that was definitely one of them um which I'm glad that I ended up you know just letting sit there because I think I really liked how the shadow on the chin looked at the end of the day and I think I got the neck to match the face pretty well anyway so I'm glad that I did that uh, moving on to the hair, um, the way that I do hair is very loosely and I don't really like putting too much effort in the hair to be honest with you just because I want the focus to be more on the face rather than the hair. So yeah, um, I added a few shadows into it just to see make it seem a bit more realistic. I added some highlights in it as well. Um, there are some parts of the hair, like the head, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like the biggest issue that I had with this piece <clears throat> in general was actually proportions, which I, yeah, um, <laughs> I obviously need to work on them quite a bit. I usually like doing ASMR for this part, but in this clip, my boyfriend was actually talking in the background. So, unfortunately, we don't have that, but we do still have some of the satisfaction <laughs> because, I mean, just peeling, just looking at it, like, it's very exciting, especially the bottom part. Oh my god, it's... <laughs> this is exactly why I like using washi tape as, like, uh, a border. I guess just because it always comes out so precise. I love it. And this is the final piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.